Town USA is like a lot of cities on the West Coast dealing with the problem of homelessness, although you sure don't see any homeless uh, tents or camps around here right now. So did the city move them out? Blair Best went to find out. To put it simply, the mayor says this event doesn't change anything when it comes to the city's response to the homeless crisis. But both those living on the streets and homeless advocates have had a different experience. They're pretty much uh, making you move right away. Yeah, they don't want to hear from us. David Finley is no stranger to the streets. But you can't ignore it. He's been living on them for 15 years. I can see where they're getting fed up because look at the mess we make. He and his friends say the city cleared their campsites ahead of the event. I mean, imagine it, you know, here you are at your spot or wherever that is, and you have the man standing there waiting for you to pack your shit up, and you got 10 minutes. It's a critical public issue, and our work on that simply continues. Mayor Lucy Vinnis says Eugene has had a homeless crisis for decades. Now, about 3,000 people are without shelter each month. That's a large number for a community our size. The city expects about 200,000 people to visit for the World Athletic Championships. We can have a lot of people moving through that area, so we want to make sure there aren't any obstructions. But that applies to any kind of obstruction. That would be an unlicensed vendor as well as someone who might set up a campsite. There's a lot of perception of where they will be allowed to be or welcome. Michelle Hankis runs Shelter Care, a nonprofit providing transitional housing and behavioral health services for those experiencing homelessness. A lot of our program participants are feeling anxious about their services. They're feeling anxious about where they're going to be. With the event underway, they still have unanswered questions about how it will affect services like public transportation, something unhoused people rely on. So we're trying to make sure that we have plans. As for Finley and his friends, they'll just keep putting one foot in front of the other. You're always moving. You always got to do something. You always have to be thinking ahead. While the spotlight will be on Eugene for the next several days, the homeless issue will still be here long after the event is over. In Eugene, Blair Best, KGW News.